I'm Thor. Welcome to the Dragon Ship. So, for my message today, my Dragon Ship members, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Something I almost never do. But I'm going to talk about dating expectations. So why not be your own man? You get to create your own path in life. Why not do it on your terms? There's lots of coaches out there telling you how to date. What do you really want in life? Do you want to find a mate? Of course. Well, many members of the Dragon Ship Mastermind are single men making their own path through this life. And I wanted to address uh, what expectations of women you are dating should actually be. Yes, you should have expectations. When you first meet on your very first date to get to know them, what are you going to do? Well, you want to go somewhere fun. So here is an old Vikings take on this. So you don't waste any of your valuable time when you're actually going out to date women. You're going to express your expectations, but you're going to do it elegantly and tactfully, even though it might not be the most flattering expectations to boldly put out there. It will save you time. So let's talk a little bit about what you want in life as a man. Uh, and a man, what do you want as a man? Do you want a woman? Maybe you want many women. That's okay, and that's fine. That's what dating is all about. It is not serial monogamy. At the point you're dating, you're dating to find what is the best fit for you, which is many of us do, and ultimately find a lifelong mate, or at least we hope to do so. Uh, statistics don't support that so much. We seem to be serial monogamous, but that's okay, uh, even though our nature might be somewhat different, and I believe it actually is different. Uh, but you still want the same things. Uh, so uh, I start with dating. What do, I start asking guys, what do you want to get out of dating? Do you know what you want? Do you want to find a mate? Do you want to date many women? Either way, you really need to get to know the woman. You need to find out how compatible you are. So let's uh, let's get into it right now. You want companionship. Would you like to enjoy yourself with the company of the opposite sex? Um, what do you really want to get out of long-term dating? I think you would want to get experience and understanding of female nature, specifically modern human female sexual nature. What drives them and what drives them is usually very old instincts and feelings and emotions. Where we get confused today as we don't really choose our path properly when we go out on dates, we should always go to a place that we would really, really be happy and enjoy if we were there by ourselves. And that way, we can just enjoy life and be positive. And if you add a woman to it, it is something that enhances the experience. Think about if you were to go somewhere where you really, really want to go and you would enjoy yourself and the environment that would be there. And the woman is just an enhancement. So if you're planning your dates, it doesn't take long to have three or four places that are prearranged, at least in your mind, where this could happen and you would enjoy it. And I'm not talking about, you know, Netflix and chill. That's fine. That's very efficient. But if it's going to be a little bit more standard date, I'm not saying even a dinner date. I don't recommend that as a first date. But uh, at least getting together for coffee or wherever it needs to be in a nice environment where you can just get to know this person. And uh, I really don't know how you would go about meeting these people other than online or in person. I prefer meeting people every day, wherever I go, I talk to them, men, women, doesn't matter. But for the guys that are in the dragon ship, go out and talk to women. That's the best way. Okay. So now, having that mindset, you then have this date. You're going on a date. You have to have expectations. So if you want to be honest and really cut through the BS and be different than everybody else, I'm going to throw a challenge out there. I'm going to throw a truth out there. You have to have expectations with the women you intend on dating. I hate to sound so cold, but there, uh, you know, but there are so many men that use this indirect expectation with the woman. They end up in the friend zone and they waste an awful lot of time and indecision with what expectations they're really there for. Are you really there to get a woman as a friend that you have no hope of taking to bed, having sex, or having a relationship? Is it just a friendship? 
Is that what it is? Nay, I don't think it is. It is something very different. You don't want that to drag the dating process beyond more than a couple of dates. You don't want to be that. You want to be much more clear. Uh, you can use finesse. You can use tact. You can use uh, elegance to express your expectations once you're in person. Uh, but you don't want to let it drag on for too long. You need to move on and find something else quickly if your intent is to actually be on many dates, a screen for the best possible match for you. Uh, and see where it goes from there. So you have to be far clearer with women when you meet up on the date and express those expectations. If you want to successfully find a mate, uh, you must know beyond a shadow of a doubt very quickly in this dating process if you are sexually compatible with her. Sex is the glue that holds relationships together, and there's only really one way to find out, and it's not talking to her over the phone or text and five or six different dates. <clears throat> I don't care what they say. Oh, he's boyfriend material. I'm not going to sleep with him for a month. They're not compatible with you. They don't have the desire or the attraction, or it would be different instantly. So lay out your expectations as a Viking man would do. You don't have to be bold. You don't have to be rude, but you do have to lay out your expectations right up front so you don't fall into that trap. You must be sexually compatible. You must have some level of attraction from her to you, and she must develop genuine desire for you to move forward and have any hope of success. How can you get there? Well, waste no time. Uh, and here's the expectations for dating women at a very base level. It's not flattering. It's bold, yet it is so true. I'm not saying this explicitly, to actually say what I'm going to say explicitly. I'm not telling you to do that, but I'm telling you, you must use tactful language with class and finesse and timing and body language to express these expectations of what you expect from her while you are dating, okay? And that is what you truly desire. So if I'm going to communicate what I expect as a woman that I'm dating on what I expect to receive from her, and that she will provide, here they are. I expect from my date attention from her, affection from her, kisses from her, a gash from her, ass from her, and maybe if none of that, I'll take some cash from her in that order. And a woman can give you no greater things than that in that order to a man she truly appreciates and enjoys spending time with. That's right. Put your thinking helmet on and think about that, gentlemen, on expressing your expectations to your date when you're looking to find a mate. Until next time, this is the Dragon Ship, and I'm Thor. Skull. <laughs>